What's up, Buttercups? Coming at you with a Friday freestyle. Um, I have a story that I want to tell today about something that happened earlier. Um, went to a yoga class this morning, trying to make a point to get back into yoga. I've been like out of it for a little while, trying to get back into it. So I get into the yoga studio, I check in, I go down to like the little cubby area, and I immediately notice this like punch in the face of wicked B.O. That's the Boston in me coming out. Wicked B.O. Like, so bad. And you know what really bad B.O. smells like. Like, I didn't know who it was, but I was like, someone who was here needs a shower and a couple sticks of deodorant. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I hope hope they're not in this class. So I go upstairs, put it on my mat. Um, you know, I'm chilling, I'm getting my zen on before class starts. And uh, this older guy walks into the studio and sits down next to me on his mat and I have found the source. <laughs> it is this stinky, stinky man. And I internally lost it like a little bit. Like I was cool on the outside, but I was like, what the fuck? Who comes to a yoga class smelling this way? Like, and I, and I look around and I'm just like dying to make eye contact with another person who, who also agrees, like this smelly person is in this room. We all smell him, right? Nobody, nobody's acknowledging it. And I'm like, God, am I like a bitch that I can't, that this is my reaction? I'm like, well, I don't know what these other people are thinking. So I start going back and forth in my head about like, you know, what are you going to do? Like, you can't, I can't do yoga next to this guy. This is what he smells like at the beginning of class. What is he going to smell like at the end? It's a hot yoga class. I was like, I'm going to die here. So I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to move to the front of the class. There was a space up front. I was like, let's just, just move. Just to, don't explain yourself. Don't make, I don't feel like you have to acknowledge it. Just go to the front of the class trying to save myself. And I get to the front of the class and my God, I still smell it. And I'm like, this is truly fascinating more than anything else like that's my reaction because you know i i live in this world of self-improvement and let's explore enlightenment together and shift your perspective and change the way you're looking at it but put me in a yoga studio with a middle-aged dude with a serious hygiene problem all of it goes out the fucking window. It's like I'm having, I have, I have uh, enlightened Amy and I have unenlightened Amy on both shoulders. And enlightened Amy is like, you're not a victim here. You can leave if you want to. You wanted to come to yoga. You can choose to, and this guy, and, and this one's like, who the fuck does this guy think he is? This is insane. No one has told this guy in his life that he smells. Like, this isn't, we need to have a cultural problem here. Like, this is bullshit that you have to put up with it. Well, you don't know his background and his story. You should be compassionate towards him. Maybe something's going on in his life and he can't shower. Who can't shower? People can't shower. And I am like, and this is the struggle. Like, this this little tiny example, this little microcosm, for lack of a better term, this like white girl problem of being in your yoga class with a stinky man, to me, I'm like, this is the issue of the human race. Because we can talk as much as we want about big life things in the universe and those are those are the important questions you know who am i what am i here for what really matters to me but it is these little day-to-day bullshit issues that can make or break your entire life i was miserable throughout that yoga class because i was like mouth breathing the whole time i didn't know what to do and you know there's there's so many brilliant teachers and leaders out there and like the Dalai Lama. I want to know the Dalai Lama, if I could meet him, this is the question I would ask him. I wouldn't be like, where do you think we go when we die? Or like, what is the meaning of life? I would be like, so you're in a yoga studio with a smelly ass man. What do you do? How do you soothe yourself? Do you leave? Should you stay? Should you talk to him? Like, what? what is the enlightened response? And it I don't, I don't have an answer. This is, this is just me talking and hoping that someone out there, maybe you have an answer. Maybe there's something you can kind of share for me because 
we all will find ourselves in these moments where it's like we're stuck in traffic for 20 minutes and we're go losing our minds. We're, you know, we are stuck in a job that we hate and it's really, it's like for all of these reasons, it really is like, no, I have to stay here. How do we deal with it? Because the the shift your perspective, you know, the the change how you look at it, like, I believe in all of that. I live that in my life. And yet there will be these moments. They will never cease to exist. Life will continually find little ways to fuck with you. Little ways, big ways. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much yoga you do, how much you meditate, you know, how just brilliant you are, there's always gonna be stuff that you're just gonna have to deal with. And I'm truly fascinated by who we become in these little moments. Cause I think that there's gold there. And if I notice anything about who I became, it was like, it really was like this internal battle of like, well, I, I, I don't wanna leave, but I don't wanna stay. And I don't wanna judge him, but I am. And how do we reconcile that? And I, I think really the answer is like that there's, there isn't one way. There's never going to be this like one perfect little pearl that you'll read in that one self-help book that's just going to unlock all the problems. We want that so bad and it just doesn't exist. I've read a lot of them. I've read so many. And I still find myself in these stupid, seemingly insignificant moments of just human imperfection. And I am slowly learning to be more and more okay with that. And I desperately want you to let yourself be okay with that for you too. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with you if the BO guy pisses you off. At least that's what I'm telling myself. And to take things even a step further, I mean, if there's any way I look at this, it's like, if this is the biggest problem that, that I have to deal with, you know, if this is the thing, the worst part of my day is that there was a really smelly guy in my yoga class this morning, then man, I've got a great fucking life. <sighs> and that's what I'm choosing to tell myself and that's my takeaway. And that's just all the wisdom that I can muster because I, you, you gotta find a way to deal with it. And, um, you know, I would, I would kind of love to hear from you. I want us to have like an honest conversation about the fact that like, sometimes you just can't be helped. Sometimes you're just pissed. Sometimes you're just confused. You're just mad. You're just stressed out. And like, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just part of this planetary experience. Always going to be new stuff to just test you and with you and make you question yourself and the more that we can just accept that's part of the equation I think the happier we're all gonna be so that's my video today I wish I had like a happier little you know like I said like a little pearl of wisdom button to put on the end of this but I, I don't think there are pearls of wisdom all the time you know I don't think like we we all just want to find that that magic silver bullet that's just gonna open up eternal prosperity and happiness and enlightenment for us. It's just doesn't, it just doesn't work that way. We're people. There's gonna be there's gonna be smelly people in our yoga classes. There will be traffic jams. There will be assholes. Uh, there will be long lines at the coffee shop. There will be incompetent cashiers. There there will always be people. And um, let's start being okay with that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for putting up with me. Um, and really, like, if if you if you relate to this, if you have tips on like what to do, please write them below. I would love to know, like, how do you deal with life's bullshit on a daily basis? Um, because that's just as important as knowing these answers to these bigger questions like what's your mission in life and what are you all about and who do you want to be and what's your legacy like those questions are important but you know what else is important is like how do you deal with how do you deal with life when it just is shoving a stick up your ass <laughs>
that. I am so lucky to have all of you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you haven't already, I would love for you to head to amyyoungcoaching.com and enter your email to be part of my weekly email series, which comes out every Wednesday. I would love to come straight to your inbox and engage in a bigger conversation about God, life and love and happiness and all of this shit that I am all about. Um, that would be great to connect with you that way. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I will see you on Monday, Mantra Monday, and have a great, great day, night, weekend, life. Mwah! Until next time, I'll see ya.